nothing is as powerful as a husband's prayer if that man has a relationship with God sometimes more powerful than a pastor's prayer but you know today we men we are even bragging that our wives are prayerful I've seen men who brag he said my wife is praying machine she can pray God bless me with a prayerful wife your wife should not be more prayerful than you no your wife should not be more intelligent than you she could study any course or no the only place I think is my opinion she's better she should know how to cook more delicacies than you who can pardon you on that your wife carried 30 kg of water you you carried 15 you say bring bring rob rob me here one of the things that is clean our relationships today in terms of marriage is what I choose to call spiritual transgender that is taking place we are talking about the physical one are we looking at the one where the woman gets up takes her bath leave in the morning tell the husband see the neighbor be here see the money here the man said drop transfer from you you know that place is far the man is sleeping is it morning oh, honey oh, i'm having a headache the woman will come and touch his body the woman draws me and say baby see the see see the neighbor build here it's eight thousand five hundred. He said, "I hope it's up to ten thousand. He said, eh, it's not transport." I said, "I think I told you I want to cut my hair now. My hair is now bushy." He said, "I'm adding one thousand for you." He said, "Did you prepare my food?" He said, "Your food is here." He said, "Bring it now." He said, "My neck is pending me. Touch there. Is it swelling up?" The woman will touch it, and the woman will leave the house, and the man will now wake up wearing pajamas, looking like the mistake of his maker. What a woman should be doing! A man is not doing it and he's comfortable in it. That is a spiritual transgender. I grew up to know that men don't like staying at home. Even when there is no work, they want to leave the house. I saw it that way. That a man don't just like staying. He just want to wear his dress. Where is he going? He tell you I'm coming. Coming to where he want to leave. Along the line, he will run into one business, run into one job, run into one thing. He, he, just, he just want to leave the house. It is men that I know that comes back late in the night. Today, man is at home. The woman is in the market to turn. Telling the children, mommy is not here back. When she's back, we will not eat. That is a spiritual transgender. That is even the one that is bothering me more. Whoever don't want to cut off his part of his body to become whatever he wants to become, it's his issue. But the one the enemy is doing in the body of Christ is the one I want us to consider.